This is the historic San Felipe de Neri Church in Old Town, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Did you know that this is one of the longest running Catholic churches in the United States? The San Felipe de Neri Church is located in the area of Old Town, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and is one of the top historic attractions to see when in Albuquerque. The National Historic Trail El Camino Real ran through the Old Town Plaza, an essential part was the San Felipe de Neri Church. The present day church is surrounded by historic adobe buildings and across the street from Old Town Plaza. Welcome to HitFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Albuquerque, New Mexico Travel Guide series. This episode is the San Felipe de Neri Church Travel Guide for visitors to Albuquerque. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. On the north side of the Old Town Plaza is the San Felipe de Neri Church, a main attraction and Catholic center in Albuquerque. It is the oldest building in the city of Albuquerque, built in 1706. Continue on Lomas Boulevard Northeast for two miles. The San Felipe de Neri Church is located at 2005 North Plaza Street, Northwest Albuquerque, in Old Town Albuquerque, across the street from the Old Town Plaza and near downtown. We didn't want to walk around in the heat, so we drove to San Felipe de Neri Church on a warm summer evening. The San Felipe de Neri Church is open to visitors seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The church is open for visitation and prayer every day of the week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Mass on Saturdays is at 4 p.m and on Sunday, 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. in English and 9 a.m. in Spanish. Also on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, Mass is at 7 p.m. The present day San Felipe de Neri Church is surrounded by historic adobe buildings and across the street from Old Town Plaza. When you get into Old Town, you can see that it's lined with plebo Spanish style architecture with uh, flat roofed buildings and pinkish uh, adobe walls. And surrounding the plaza, you'll see long portals with benches in front of most buildings. Um, and the benches are great to get away from the sun and heat. When we arrived in the weekday night, it wasn't very busy, so there was plenty of street parking and we found one right in front of the church. The San Felipe de Neri Church takes up the whole north side block of the old uh, town plaza area. The old town was established in 1706 when a group of Spanish families settled in the area and the settlers organized their town in the traditional Spanish colonial way with a central plaza and of course anchored by a church. The San Felipe de Neri Church was first run by Franciscan missionaries. The original church built in 1706 was a simple adobe structure and collapsed due to bad weather in 1792. The present church in Old Town is the second church built in 1793 with a cruciform rather than rectangular formation. During the late 1850s, the church was remodeled with Gothic revival elements. They got a new pitch roof with Gothic Revival spires and a new altar and pulpit painted to look like marble. Wainscoting and a wooden cabinetry also gave it a more European look. At the time we visited, many of the stores were closed and not many people were around. And maybe it's because it was a weekday and it was hot earlier. I'm not really sure, but make sure to check on uh, their website visit albuquerque.org slash abq365 slash events and visit when they have events here to get the full flavor of this historic area. Across the street you can clearly see the twin uh, bell towers that were added in 1861. Also inside the church there are pressed tin ceilings which were added in 1916. combination of Pueblo's 
uh, Spanish and European architecture makes the church notable. It has those thick adobe walls, heavy wooden beams called vigas, and carved corbel dating to the late 18th century construction. The rectory, also known as Moreno Hall, stands east of the church on the side of the original Cavento building in the 1790s. And you'll also see Our Lady of Angels School. Now, this was Albuquerque's first public school built in, uh, by the Jesuits in 1878. The one-story Gables building has a wooden cupola and particularly fine territorial uh, style trim. It is also on the National Register of Historic Places on its own. To the left of the church, you'll also find the Sister Blandina convent attached to the west side. It was built in 1881 for the Sisters of Charity, and it's believed it was the first two-story adobe building built in Old Town. Uh, the convent was staffed by sisters until the 1970s. There's also a gift shop and a small museum. The museum can be accessed through the uh, gift shop. In addition, the church property also has a modest barn, stable, and parish hall. This San Felipe Denary Church, listed on the New Mexico State Register of Cultural Properties and the National Register of Historic Places, has remained in continuous use for over 300 years and is definitely worth a visit. This attraction should take you no more than 30 minutes or more, depending on your interest. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our Hipfig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.